Hey everybody, HMV here. Playing some FTL and we're playing Captain's Edition. Um, I'm just going to hop into it. We'll talk about it as we go. I'm going to play the Kestrel because that seems reasonable, although I do have everything unlocked simply because uh, uh, I, this is my sa the actual same save that I played in Season 4 in. Welcome to Season 5, by the way. <laughs> um, I've never played Captain's Edition before, so I don't know very much about it. Um, I know that it comes with some new weapons here. It comes with a Pertion missile, uh, Pertion. I don't know what it is. Um, it shoots two missiles. It's basically a uh, Pegasus, which is pretty sweet. Um, seems to, I don't know the, the charging time on the Pegasus. Um, it's got a dual laser Mark II, which has an eight second charge time, which is pretty freaking awesome actually when it comes down to it. Um, it also comes with an FTL fuel recycler. Uh, create small amounts of FTL fuel by recycling spent fuel cells. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Requires an empty beacon. So they're using the same trick probably that I used in um, the... Uh, with, my, with my ghost ship where you get a ghost uh, at empty beacons. So I'm going to click start here and see what happens. I'm going to be reading a lot of this text uh, just because this is quite literally the first time I've ever played Captain's Edition. I might have played it before, like two years ago, but I don't remember anything about it. Uh, the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies, blah, blah, blah. Um, exit before the pursuing Rebel fleet can catch you up. Acid clouds. These industrial hazards will damage your ship while charging your FTL drive. Uh, Time-consuming activities like salvaging and the usage of certain augments will result in more damage. Awesome. Prepare your ship for the FTL jump. Socialize with your crew. Uh, consider some upgrades to your custom ship equipment. Uh, produce something on board the ship. Well, geez. Um, does socializing with your crew actually help? That's a good question. Uh, let's produce something on board the ship. Why not? Uh, we could recycle some FTL fuel cells. Um, we have 16 fuel. I'm going to change my mind. Have a word with your humanoid crew member. It's blue. Huh. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, your humanoid crew member is in love with someone else in the ship, but they are too shy to tell the other crew member. Well, there's only three of us. So yeah, there's that. Uh, by the way, I'm not naming anybody this run. Um, just the way it is. I don't know. Uh, that seemed to be all flavor and had nothing to do with anything. So uh, let's go ahead and go to an unvisited location here. We just found a bio beam. Uh, settlement still loyal to the Federation hails your ship. They have prepared a weapon to aid your escape from the rebels. Let's check that out. Is it just an anti bio beam? Incapacitate ships and crew without dealing hull damage. Crew damage 15, system damage 1. Um, I think that crew damage 15 is actually quite high. I don't think that's 15 points. I think that might instantly kill somebody. Um, I'm actually going to set it instead of the missile. Uh, yeah, I still have my, I still have my lines. That's the only mod I kept. All the other mods I've turned off. Everything is, this is all Captain's Edition except for those lines. Um, refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of the many fleeing rebel, the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you. Well, let's hail them. Oh, they want to fight. Uh, a ship ceases fire. Oh, I just hit one and without reading. See, I'm so used to not reading. Uh, I thought one would be fight them. Uh, or actually, I thought one would be continue. Um, change your mind and prepare to fight. Well, good. Okay, they've got a drone and a lot of weapons. A lot more weapons than I am comfortable with. That is a unique layout. I do not feel comfortable abandoning any system to, uh... Yeah, I do not feel comfortable abandoning any system. Whoa, that was crazy. Huh! Oh, come on, he's shooting flak at the frickin' ship? This doesn't seem fair at all. Um, by the way, I'm playing on normal mode because... Actually, I think I'm playing... I might have been... I'm, you know what? I think I'm playing on hard mode. Uh, this game is supposedly supposed to be played on normal mode, as in hard mode will murder you. Um, let's take that drone out because he's scary. And then let's shoot a missile, the dual missiles here, at their weapons. Okay. Now we've taken control. Let's go ahead and take out their shields. Oh, they got an extra shield here. Let's go ahead and take out their shields again. Turn auto fire on. You know how much I love auto fire. 
Now their shields are down, so it really doesn't matter what we shoot at now. As long as it hits. That drone was crazy. Contract the refugees. The refugee ship claims the slugs have been hounding them since they left their home. Well, not anymore. As a gesture of goodwill and seeing how effectively you dispatch them, they offer up some stuff for us. Yeah, I think I'm playing this on hard, which means I will probably get my ass handed to me. Um, yeah, that bio beam is really more of a play toy than a thing, so I think I'm not going to make it my main thing. Um, shields are cheaper. No, they're not. 20 and 30. I think we should make them the priority, though. Let's go ahead and keep that up. We're going to head up and duck into that nebula up there. You stumble across a forward scout of the Rebel fleet. They are preparing their FTL drive, and they've got some crazy-looking weapons. Um, they are teleporting in the medbay. Okay, go in there. Oh, they left. That sucks. Okay, go back here. We're going to close you guys off. Actually, I guess we'll just close these doors and these two doors. Okay. We're going to do a laser at their cockpit. We missed. We're going to missile their cockpit. Sweet, they gave up on that. Now you're going to come in and help him. Then we're going to dual laser their weapons. Uh, then we are going to chill out for a minute. Ow. Three damage. Seriously. <laughs> this, this doesn't seem fair. Uh, okay. We're going to save them. We're going to shoot the missiles at the, at the shields. Seems like I also shot the dual laser, which was a mistake. Okay. Now we're going to be tricky here. We're going to get this on. Okay. Now we can actually do this as well, which will clear out the ship faster so they don't damage our weapon system. Okay. I would like to not shoot any more missiles, so let's shoot the dual laser at them here. And kills them! Uh, we get 18 f stuff for that. We don't quite have enough, sadly, for the shield, which is going to cost us 30. So let's head up into this nebula up here. It's good to be back, by the way. Haven't played FTL in a while. Socialize with your crew. Consider some upgrades for your ship. Oh, uh, yeah, let's consider some upgrades. You consult the blueprints and think about what improvements can be made. Customizing the cruiser this way will take more time than usual standardized upgrades. Um, oh, we don't have the scrap for that. Okay, just socialize a little with your crew. Uh, your human crew member has nothing interesting to say. I guess that's like the, that's like the just flavor. There's, there's no actual stuff going on in there. Um, a smart person would let his oxygen come back, but I'm going to press on regardless here. Uh, okay, they've got a teleporter. The enemy seems to be equipped with combat augments. Strong radiation is beamed at your ship. Your opponent is trying dirty weapons. Oh, jeez. Let's continue. We don't surrender. Okay, they're, oh, they've taken down our oxygen. Which is interesting, considering we uh, have kind of a problem with our oxygen. If we can take their weapons down, though, and just get everybody in the med bay... <laughs> okay, this is a dangerous game here that we're playing. Uh, but we're going to keep it up. I like the red mantis here. And the med bay seems to actually be holding back. We're going to fire missiles because we don't... We're just going to take a whole bunch of damage here. Okay, that definitely helped. 
Okay, now we can, uh, actually we can't get our oxygen back online. But we can go down here and fix the shields really quick. And then get back in here. That didn't take his shields down, which is annoying. I hate to, I'm firing way too many missiles. We will not accept your surrender. Uh, we're gonna do a laser at your cockpit. And you're dead. Okay, we get some de debris, which means we can, oops, get our shields up, which is awesome. And I think we're gonna run like this for the time being. Uh, we also need our oxygen on. Yeah, power is the number one requested thing here. Uh, it's gonna cost us 20 to get more. As soon as everybody's healed, get back to your posts while you guys stand around doing nothing. Uh, yeah, I should, I should probably wait for my oxygen, but again, I'm not going to, because I'm stupid. Prepare to fight, sure. Oh, it's an automated ship with an odd layout, again. We engage the ship. Okay, that looks like a missile launcher, probably. Um, we don't have enough power for anything. So let's turn the oxygen on. If that's a, if that is a missile launcher, we're in trouble. We'll see what it is here. Let's uh, let's do the old trick of taking this out. Okay. High energy impact, but it's not going to hurt us. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna auto fire at his cockpit. The reason we're doing this is it won't take any power out of the, out of any systems. We're safe with our shields the way they are. We're gonna do one damage to him every turn until he's dead, and nothing else about the battle is gonna change. So we have won. Oh. The dampeners run on full as you maneuver and exchange fire with your enemy. The heat on board the ship becomes almost unbearable. I'm not 100% sure what that means. Do we just take a damage or something? I don't know. Seems okay, though, so far. But we are still working here. We got a danger... And we've killed it. So I, yeah, the, not 100% sure what that what that text meant. Uh, these sentient nuisances just keep on coming. <laughs> With each one you destroy, there is sure to be many to replace it. You quickly scrap the ship and prepare to jump. 31 scrap, which means we can buy a power. Which means we can, uh, I guess, turn off our weapons to get that up and move into the next engine. Uh, attempt to follow and help them. Uh, this looks like the same one, so we're going to do that. And we get a person, Triobite. Go ahead and get indoors. Trollobite. Okay, get the weapons up and the shields, and I think we're going to run like this until we can buy another power. There's a store there that's pretty much useless. I don't think we need this FTL fuel recharger, so I think we're going to sell it as soon as we get the opportunity. Um, we also need to plan our egress from the sector. We got four jumps. Five if we go to both of these. One, two, three, four, five. That's the only way to do it. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Uh, Rebel Autonomous Scout, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're going to try to do a laser his weapons down, and if, assuming they both hit, sweet, we have just won this battle. It's rare <laughs> that we come across a ship that we can actually just beat. Uh, so I will definitely take this victory here. Okay, 14, 25 total, which means we can buy a power. We're forced to go to the store though. One, two, three, four, which is correct. So I think we're gonna try to hold on to all of our scrap until we get to said store. I should have turned my shields up. Uh, he's got, yes, yeah, so if we get two shields, we are impenetrable. Well, that's kind of funny. His, his weapon system's bigger. So there's no reason to fire the missiles. Which also means we could do this. <laughs> it might be a long battle, but 
I'll take the I'll take the, the sure wins anytime I can get them here. Oh, that's not gonna help. Oh come on, he's gonna fix his shields by the time you hit him again. <laughs> Who knew Sector 1 ships could have 50% dodge? There we go, finally. Now his shields, yeah, I knew it was going to happen. Stupid shields. Hopefully this will take him down, and that will give us a little bit of extra time to take out his cockpit and then go right back to shields. Oh my word. I swear, he does have 50% dodge. Uh, while fighting the scout and environmental conditions worsen in this part of the nebula, a plasma storm breaks loose. Our shields just went down. But we can function like this. That's a very interesting thing. I Oh, and then of course he hits our weapons. Yeah. At least we killed him. That was that was nasty. That was a nasty combo. Everybody get in there and fix the weapons. The ship explodes, blah blah blah. Except for you, Hunt. Get yourself to the med bay. Yeah, he took our shields down, and then uh, the the nebula took our shields down, and then he was able to he was and, and our power consumption now one two three one two three, and one of them's a half, so we're good. Forty three scrap saving up for this store. Oh, look at this crazy dude! That's got to be a missile. So the ion thing doesn't matter. It's all about avoiding the missile. I'm assuming the ion thing doesn't matter. It might. Now, okay, dual laser. Let's wait on the missile here. Let's fire it at his shield. You get up and help him fix that. Okay, shields are down. Let's go ahead and dual laser his weapons. And we can't we can't actually stop any of these from happening. Let's go ahead and check this out again. Okay, we don't need the missiles anymore. So let's dual laser his cockpit. And go right to engines. Uh, simulations show a high chance of terminal failure for the, for the station. Uh, be prepared, uh, blah, 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 blah. Be advised that Rebel Tech will never be left to the enemy. FTL overload activated. The AI is going to blow itself up. Huh. That's kind of funny. <laughs> but it's not going to be able to because it has absolutely no chance of making it out of this battle. Or doing anything else. Blah, blah, blah. 14 scrap. 57 total. We're going to go into this nebula and then up to this store. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, boy. He's got a cloak. We don't need the, um, we don't need the shield, so all we need to do is take his weapons out as quickly as possible, which is made a little bit harder. Open up all the doors to give us extra time to fix the hole in the floor. At least it's our dual laser that's left online. Okay. Everybody back to your posts. We will heal ourselves later. That is a dual shot, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, and we're also going to bring up the missiles again. But we're not going to use the missiles unless we feel uh, we need to. And I really don't think we're going to feel we need to. In fact, we're not going to need to dodge. Actually, we're going to switch to the cockpit because that will make it more likely that we'll kill. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we got stuff. Let's heal up our dudes, and then we're gonna go right to the store. I think we're doing okay. We're taking a beating. But I really wasn't expecting not to take a beating. Um, I've heard bad things. Okay, we can buy some stuff. Uh, we could buy consumer goods. We could buy food rations, or we could buy luxury goods. 
This might take some time, which implies that it might make the Rebels come closer, although the Rebels can come closer because we're, we're wasting a jump anyway. So let's go ahead and buy these luxury goods for 27. Fleet Pursuit doubled for one jump. We expected that. So we spent 27 on the luxury goods. Now, if we try to sell them for 25, seriously? Okay, never going to buy anything from this guy anymore. Um... Yeah, that's... <laughs> We're not going to buy titanium system casing. Long-range scanners is a definite possibility here. Let's just go ahead and sell the bio-beam. I don't think we're ever going to use it. Um, this fuel cycler seems to be more a problem than it's worth. Luxury goods, get rid of those. Um, just accept the fact that we learned our lesson here. I'm going to fix up to 20 because this seems to be pretty harsh. We can buy an artillery system. Warning, installing our artillery will interfere with this save. You'll have to finish this run in one go. Well, that means I'm not going to buy it. Um, page two, hull beam. We could just put that instead of the missiles. Artillery laser mark one cause even more destruction than heavy lasers and also pierce through a shield bubble. Nice. We don't have the, the money to buy that, though. Heavy stunner charges in 16 seconds, so we can fire once every twice on the um, the dual laser there. Uh, shots per charge is one. Ion damage is two. Meh. I was actually just going to hover my mouse over the whole laser and look at it. <laughs> or the whole beam. Um... Fast charging beam that is most powerful when targeting empty sections of hull. I think that's good anyway. We're going to keep the missiles for now. Uh, but we're going to make the beam more good -er -er. Yeah, see, this was, a, this was a, a, a smart thing to do as far as a learning experience is concerned. Okay, let's get the hull beam going. We would really like to buy one more power. 25 is what it's going to cost. I think that was a good trip to the store. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Repair five damage for ten scrap. Um, <laughs> I like the little arms there. Let's try to get some for free. Engage this station. Uh, yeah, you know what? Desperate times. Recall for desperate measures, right? You are about to commit an act of piracy. This might disturb your crew. Oh, we might lose a crew member? Let's do it. That, that's why we're learning here. Oh my word, this guy's strong. Okay. We need to concentrate on taking his weapons out. Can we get... We can't... Oh, the beam won't go through three rooms. So let's let's go ahead and hit the most rooms we can here. And we took his shields down, which is awesome. Oh, that was no fun. <laughs> Let's go ahead and de-airify this part of the ship here. Close this off. Are there people on this thing? There are. There are people on this ship. Okay, dual lasers. Again at the weapons. Uh, of course, yeah, the... Okay, event oh I didn't open this door. I actually made it worse. Uh Okay. Dual laser at the weapon. Hull beam through here. Ow. Okay, shields are back. As soon as this there we go, you get in there and fix that. Keep charging everything. Sadly, we're, we're waiting on the dual lasers. Oh, damn it. The shields came up the moment I wanted to... Uh, if the beam had hit the, the shields, we would have been fine. Okay. Shields are back up, but this shot's going to get through. Of course, it goes into the, the one room that sucks to have it go through. Uh, the station sends surrender codes and contacts your ship. The personnel look quite scared. All right, um, we, we got the message. Maybe you're interested in some free repairs? That's what we wanted. Let's go ahead and accept their offer. And they repair our hull. See how the crew reacts. You keep telling yourself it was necessary for the mission, but can't help but feel guilty. The looks your crew give you don't help either. But nobody left, so I'm going to call that a win. And we got more, more repair than we lost during the battle, so... I'm going to call this a win. You guys get yourselves to the med bay... 
Everything's fixed. Everybody back to your posts. Get the whole beam back up. Uh, and let's go ahead and head to the next sector. Uncharted Secto. Uh, auto salvaged. Auto shipyard. Servant 50. Okay. I have no idea what any of these are. This looks like a nebula though. And this looks like a fun red sector. So we're going to go to the fun red sector instead of the crappy nebula. This is uh, my non captains of what it what you made it out of the sector. The long range relay covers your ship with its field projectors. As you silently watch the data output of your screen field envelope, 80% positioning, spinning FTL field en envelope, 90% course, course locked requesting clearance field envelope, 100% relay confirms jump order, powering dampeners receiving field jumping. Uh, we can travel at minimum FTL speed to the next sector or standard engines. We can travel at the using the usual amount of fuel. Oh, it takes minus two fuel and we get more time, I guess. I think that's good because we have plenty of fuel. So let's go ahead and take our two fuel. Uh, the rebels swept over this blah, 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 gain full control. Socialize with your crew. Consider some upgrades. Go ahead and do that. Okay, we're just going to socialize with the crew. Um, and nothing happened. Yeah, that's that's just flavor, I guess. I, I don't see any that, that being anything that actually helps you. Okay, distress call. We'll definitely go there. We're going to skip this nebula. So we need to dilly-dally. Uh, the jump brought you close to an open space shooting range where automated ships can be tested and calibrated. Captured Federation bombers have been lined up on the horizon for target practice. Hone your crew skills by engaging one of the engaging one of the dummy ships. Remain near the beacon. Well, let's go ahead and try it here. A rebel scout was lying dormant nearby. Impossible to identify so close to all the other ship signatures. What was planned as a combat exercise turns into a real ship-to-ship -ship battle. Well, this is no good. This looks scary. What... Enemy combat drone. Yeah, it doesn't actually... He's just a cloak, apparently. I don't know what he's for. Um, but this this is going to be one of those things that shoots one thing. This is an ion. That looks to be an ion drone, which scares the crap out of me. So we are going to concentrate on weapons and drones. And we're going to fire the dual laser at the drones. And then do this. That should neuter them. Yeah, they're basically neutered now, which is cool. So now we need to take their shield down. Okay, shield's down, so we are free to fire at whatever we want. So we're going to do that and end the game. This unit remains, shall not, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're not going to get away. I hate to break it to you, but you're not getting away. Uh, 18 scrap, that works for me. We can actually... Finally, upgrade our reactor. So now we're this is where we wanted to be at the end of sector one. Uh, so the goal of this sector is probably two, um, what you call them, these things. <laughs> uh, engines. We don't need the energy for them, but I would like it. Engage the turret to get to the supply station. Uh, that's uh, some sort of a laser, and that's, I don't know. Oh, that looks like a flak. Ugh, let's do this. We'll begin from below, Captain. Okay, yeah, we need to take out that flak cannon as quickly as possible. And as quickly as possible is right now. He resisted. He's got a titanium system casing. Come on, dodge one of these. Nice. Okay, dual laser. There we go. Weapons are being repaired, which is annoying. But he'll be dead this volley. Oh, he broke a hole in his hole, too. Uh, the animated station breaks apart under your weapons fire. You salvage what remains of it. Let's investigate the station. We get building material. Okay. I guess we'll hold on to that stuff. Uh, creates crates containing thousands of standardized structural rods used in deep space construction. The most boring shipment ever. Very basic trade goods. Okay, so we can't actually use this right now. I'm just going to say. Um, we're going to go to this distress call. We're going to go now, so it's going to go.